Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Math Belt, where I share strategies, tutorials, ideas, tips, and more in elementary math for parents and teachers. Today is video 16 in our 30 day back to school math resource challenge. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to create an analog clock in PowerPoint that includes both hours and minutes. The video will be broken up into four parts. So if you're ready to try it out for yourself, let's get started. This video is gonna have four separate parts. In the first part, I'm gonna show you how to create a basic analog clock, just showing the hours. The second part, we will be adding in tick marks for our hours. The third part, we're gonna add in tick marks to represent each of the 60 minutes. And in that final part, we're gonna add in shapes to create an hour hand and a minute hand. If you wanna skip ahead to any specific part, there will be timestamps for each part in the description box below. In this video, I won't be showing you how to set up a page to be vertical eight and a half by 11. If you wanna see that, check out any of my other how-to tutorials in the 30 day challenge. Any of the videos from one through 15 show you how to set up your page. For this first clock, we're gonna start by going up to insert and then clicking on shapes. And we're gonna choose this donut. You can find it under basic shapes. I'm going to click on my page and then hold the shift key down so that my donut stays proportional in its dimensions. I'm gonna get it as large as I can. And I'm gonna select the inside of the circle to thin out that border and then change it to black. So there's our outline. Now I want to add in our hours. So I'm gonna go to insert and go to text box. I'm going to create a text box. I'm gonna type in that number 12 and go ahead and change the font and size now. So let's go to home, center it, change that font and then make it a little larger. I'm gonna go with 12 and then line it up with those grid lines and center it. I'm gonna duplicate that to make my six. I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna duplicate it twice so that we have the one for nine and we can bring in that text box. Let's duplicate this one. And we're gonna change it to nine and we're gonna change it to three. So then I'm gonna duplicate the other numbers. All right, we're gonna change our numbers out. All right, and then we're going to just make sure they're all in a good position. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add in a dot for that midpoint in the middle of our, our clock. Again, I'm gonna hold down the shift key so we don't change the shape of the circle. And then I'm going to center it. And then change the fill color and make it have no outline. So there is our basic analog clock with just our hours. You can make the size of each number larger or smaller based on however you prefer. In this next part of our video, I'm going to show you how to add in the tick marks for each of your hours on the analog clock. So we already have 
created that donut, that clock outline with the donut and we changed the color of the fill and the line. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to go to insert shape. So I have my little shortcut up here and click on the line to create a tick mark. So I'm gonna draw a line there and we're going to change the color and we're going to change the weight. Then I am going to go and add in a text box to add our hour time. So there's a 12. So I'm going to center that, change the font, and then increase the font size. Make that bigger or smaller, however you like. So there's our time, sorry, 12 o'clock. So what I'm going to do now is select the entire page to make sure everything is selected. So I have my donut, my tick mark, and my time. And I'm going to go to shape format, go to arrange, and then go to group. Now I need to duplicate this 12 times because I want to have a space for each hour to determine how far apart each number and tick mark is going to be we're going to separate them by a certain amount of degrees so to rotate around an entire circle it, it goes around 360 degrees and if we divide that by 12 different hours we will have 30 degrees in between each hour or each number representing the hour so i'm going to duplicate this 12 times so i'm going to select our image and then hit command d on the keyboard or control D if you have a PC. I have a mat, so duplicate, that's one. So now I'm going to select my page, hit command A to select all, go to shape format, go to arrange, align, make sure it's aligned to slide, hit align middle, and then I'm going to go back to arrange align and align center. Now it just looks like there's a one of them. So now this is where it gets a little bit more challenging, just slightly. So what we need to do to show those other hours, we need to select our image. We're going to open up our format pane because this is where we're going to change our rotation. We also need to open up a range and our selection pane. I learned how to create different images in a circular rotation from another instructor or YouTuber on YouTube called The Teacher. I'm gonna link their video in the description box below so you can see what they did. They did a quick one minute and a half video on how to rotate stars and I just took that and applied it to creating a analog clock. So again, that video is in the description box below. I wanted to give credit to that person where I learned how to do this. So now, you can see in the selection pane, each group re represents one of those circles that we duplicated, one of those donuts with a different time. So we're gonna select each one and then change the degree. So this first one I have selected, I'm gonna go to format shape and go to the image that has the arrows going in different directions and minimize position and click on size. So for rotation, that first rotation is gonna be my first 30 degrees. So I just add in a 30, and there you see that next 12 appear. We're gonna change the numbers closer to the end. So I'm gonna go back to selection pane, and since I'm done with that first one, I'm gonna minimize that group. Select the second one, go back to format shape, now this is another 30 degrees in addition to the first 30. So now 30 plus 30 is 60. And there's our next number. That's gonna be represented in our rotation. I'm done with that group. So the next one, go back to format shape. So another multiple of 30. So we're gonna have 90 or you can just add. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. All right, so we really didn't need that last one, but here we have the numbers on our clock. So now what I'm gonna do is go and change the numbers to represent the different hours. Now I'm going to change the rotation of the entire hour so that they're all 
going vertical. So you can do that by clicking on it on the text box and then changing it where there are zero degrees. Or you can select the text box, go back to format shape, and just make that rotation zero. And there is our clock with our tick marks. You want to make those tick marks smaller or larger, you can do that as well. I'm going to finish up by adding in that center point, changing the shape field to black and having no outline. Then I'm going to center it. And there is our analog clock with hours and tick marks to go with the hour hand. In this third part to our video, I'm going to show you how to create the analog clock with the hours, but also tick marks for the minutes, so the 60 minutes. So we're going to start again with having that donut already created as well as the tick mark already created. And it's very similar to the last part. We're just going to add in a few more steps for our minutes, but we're going to do the same rotation steps. Um, or we have to separate them by degrees. So I'm going to select the tick mark and the donut and go to shape format, go to arrange and then hit group. And I'm just gonna do the first five minutes and then duplicate that set. So the first five minutes, group it and then duplicate. So we're gonna take this image and then we're gonna duplicate it five times And we are going to select all of it. So I'm gonna click on the page and then hit Command A to select all. Go to Shape Format. Go to Arrange, Align, Align Middle, Arrange, Align, Align Center. So that we see all of them together. So now I'm going to open up that Format pane and then I'm gonna go back to arrange and open the select pane as well. So I'm gonna start by doing that same step that I did before, where I'm going to click on the first group, go to format shape. This time, instead of being 30 degrees apart to separate the hours, we're separating the minutes. So we have 30, 360 degrees all together to go around an entire circle. To go from the different minutes, there's 60 minutes that we want to show. So if we take 360 divided by 60, we get six. So six degrees. We're gonna separate each tick mark by six degrees. So I'm gonna go back here to our size, and then for rotation, I'm gonna click on six and enter, then go back to the next group and do the same thing. Actually, for this next one, you're gonna do six more. So six plus six is 12, there we go. And minimize that, the next group. We're gonna do six more, so we're doing multiples of six. And then that last one should end on 30 because remember the hours are gonna be 30 degrees apart. Okay, so now before I duplicate all of this because I wanna make this a set, I want to click on this final tick mark and make it a little longer to show the hour and a little thicker. So I'm gonna come over to the line and probably increase it to five. And then I'm going to insert a text box to do the one, to do the hour. So I type in that one, I'm gonna center it. So then I'm gonna place that in front of our tick mark for our one o'clock. 
And then there's the set that I want to duplicate. So now this image, I want to click on the page, hit Command A to select all, go to Shape Format, go to Arrange, go to Group. So now that's a set. Now I want to duplicate that 11 more times because the last time we did 12, we didn't need that last one. So 11 more times so that we can have a set for each of the hours. So I'm going to select that and hit Command D. Remember, if you have a PC, you hit Control whenever I say Command for Mac. All right, so I'm going to click on the page, hit Command A to select them all. Go back to Shape Format, click Arrange, go to Align, Align Middle, back to Arrange, Align, line center so again it looks like one image so we already have our format paint our format shape and selection pane open so i'm going to click on the selection pane now you can see there's a lot more lines to deal with but they're all in a group so we're going to just work with the groups because each group has a separate donut in there so we're going to click on that first group go to format shape we already did the six degrees. Now we're going back to the 30 degrees apart. So I'm going to go to that size button. And for the rotation, we're going to do 30 degrees. And there's our 30. And again, we'll change the numbers towards the end. Go back to selection pane. So I'm going to minimize that group. Click on the next one. So we're going to do 30 more. So we're, another group of 30 would be 60. Uh oh, that was too much. There we go. And then again, I'm going to repeat these steps all the way around. So I think again, I did one extra. I keep doing that, but it's okay. So you see they kind of look weird. So now we're going to go in and change our numbers around. And then we're going to change the rotation of each of the text boxes with our numbers in it. And there is our analog clock with our hours and tick marks for our minutes. Now, if you want to, well, let's finish it up by adding in our point for the middle of our clock. So there's that. You can jazz it up by um, changing the colors. Or if you're doing this on a worksheet, and you want to do your answer key and then change the color to show the correct answers. You can do that. So there's your clock with your red numbers. So if you wanted it to be red or if you wanted it to be black, I would definitely just duplicate multiple slides. So if you come over to your slide and then you right click and then you hit duplicate, duplicate, you can change the color and save as many different clocks as you want. So I would definitely save this as a picture. So even with the other clocks that we did before, I would select all of the little images that we have and then right click and go to save as picture and save. So now when you are creating your problems or activities for your students, you can just insert those images that you created. And once you have them as an image, you can resize it and nothing really moves on that clock. So there is our analog clock with tick marks for our hours and for our minutes.
So in this final last part of our video, I'm going to show you how to take one of your analog clock images that you've created and just add in shapes to represent the hour hand and the minute hand. So we're going to go to this blank slide, go to insert an image or insert a picture. Let's select this one, insert, and I'm going to resize it. Just make it a little bit smaller and go up to insert shapes. So you can choose one of these lines that have an arrow on the end or you can choose a block arrow, it's up to you. So I'm actually gonna choose the one with that's like a line to make it a little bit thicker. I did it upside down, so we're gonna rotate it around. Let's move that up. And then I'm going to click on making it black and then increasing the weight. Let's do six. All right, so there is our minute hand. I'm gonna select the arrow and hit Command D and then rotate that arrow around and make it shorter to represent the hour hand. And then we can increase our zoom if we wanna see it up close. I actually do like these arrows better than the block arrows. So there is our short hand or our hour hand. And then we have our minute hand on the 12. So we decrease that. There is our clock, or if we want our students to practice reading what five o'clock looks like on our analog clock, we can create our own. And then you can save that as a picture or you can select it and change the color. If you want those colors to pop out. Let's make this pink and make this like a turquoise blue. Okay, there you go, or you can leave that black, it's up to you. So that's how you can add your hour hand and minute hand to your analog clock that you've created. I hope these video tutorials are very helpful to you in creating different images with analog clocks so that you can create a variety of activities for your students to work on when learning how to tell time and represent a time on a clock. All right, now you know how to create an analog clock in PowerPoint, including hours, as well as creating those tick marks for all 60 minutes in a circular rotation using PowerPoint. If you found this video helpful, please share it and like it by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. If you wanna be notified the next time a video is posted, please hit that notification bell. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.